What's going on everybody? It's your man with the plan, Shane Man 20. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day so far and also welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we are going to be doing the L86 intake install as well as the ported LT1 throttle body by KTEC. Should be a pretty straightforward install. I have my cousin waiting outside for me so we're just going to go jump straight into it. Uh, it's just going to be a time-lapse video. If there's anything that I can explain real quick we'll probably do a separate video on it this week. Uh, but in either case, we're just going to go straight into it, so hopefully you guys will enjoy the content. guys so we have the intake manifold off finally after probably 45 minutes of messing around with it probably as you can see the runners don't look that dirty but even though I probably ought not do this there's still a lot of grime inside there and just to show you guys each runner I know you guys can't see too much in there but each one of those is pretty dirty pretty much a lot of carbon build except for the very back cylinders they're not too bad so it looks like we'll be pretty much good to go I'll clean up some of this stuff around the ports and then we'll throw the new intake manifold on
okie dokie guys everything is finally back in and torque two specs uh, well I guess we'll just see what happens so we're gonna do a throttle body relearn on it um, basically if you don't know what that is is you have to um, start the truck and let it run at idle for three minutes in park then shut it off for 60 seconds and then turn it back on again and start it up and let it idle for three minutes in park so uh, we're gonna see how well this goes over and if any codes do show up it says to clear them so that the ECM can continue to learn everything so uh, let's just see what happens moment of truth So we have the timer officially started. Just wanted to make sure things weren't going to show up just yet. It is actually idling normally, so um, we're just going to let everything go for right now, and we'll see how well this goes over here in a minute. Well, guys, she runs fine, idles beautifully. Did the throttle body relearn on it? Actually, didn't need a throttle body relearn. It actually adapted just fine. So it's it's kind of nice that everything went as smoothly as it did one of the things that i'm going to tell you was an absolute pain what we call at work the christmas trees these little things right here those things are a pain in the butt to get off and especially because there's some in the back it's it's absolutely nuts to try and take off i would highly suggest either having two people or something of that nature because that will definitely help you out in the long run having a second person around definitely helped for me so because otherwise, I'd have still been sitting here doing this. So, uh, either way, I'm going to go take uh, the truck for a test drive. We're going to see how it runs, and then I will be back. All right, guys, so I just got back from a little bit of a drive. Definitely uh, feels a little bit more responsive, just a tad more responsive. I won't say that there was, like, any significant power gains from doing this swap, but I will say that it feels just a tad bit more responsive, which I love. I love the fact that it's much more responsive. And uh, the one thing I was definitely watching the entire time was my air fuel ratio. Now it's really kind of hard to watch your air fuel ratio on something that you don't even have a wide band on, but the tuner does allow you to see that. But I did watch my ratio through any of the dr hard driving that I did with it, and I just to make sure that you know nothing was going too lean, nothing was going too rich. Looks good so far, but I am definitely going to look into a retune. May not be able to do it this time around, but I said at the very least, it's runnable, it will run. As long as I don't get into it too hard, it should be just fine. So, uh, needless to say, this entire install is definitely plug and play. The only big issue that you guys are probably going to have are those little Christmas tree grommets. There are they're scattered throughout the entire intake manifold so when you are taking it off definitely make sure that you get all of those off because otherwise it's going to be a giant pain in the butt so with all that said guys i think this wraps up this video and next week we will be doing the headers it's going to be an awesome time we're going to have a great time we're going to have fun with friends we're going to have pizza we're going to have a great time so until then guys Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up because I honestly do appreciate it. You guys really don't know. Also, if you are new to this channel, you're stopping into this video or any of my videos for the first time, please make sure to hit that subscribe button because you guys don't want to miss any of the stuff I'm about to do with this truck. And don't forget about that notification bell next to the subscribe button. Make sure to hit that so you are always notified of when I post new videos because you guys don't want to be left out in the dark. You don't want to be left out in the dark when I start doing awesome stuff with this stuff. You don't, you don't. You don't want to be left out in the dark, guys. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell at the same time. With that said, guys, hopefully you have a fantastic day and take it easy.